Pioneer. Yo, what is going on guys? EJ here, bringing another Lord of the Rings Rise to War video. Today guys, we're going to be catching up with a bunch of updates and new features and that, which have not only been added to the game or are coming to the game. Um, I have to say the developers are doing a really good job at the moment, bringing some pretty interesting uh, changes and features and stuff like that. We're going to start off by showing some in-game features, and then we'll move on to some of the information sheets and that that we've got. Uh, but there's a few quick little ones that I want to show you here first. For example, uh, if I go to my bear camp, it can be any kind of tile that you own, for example. Uh, you will now have this feature here that you can click on. And it will basically will show you the battles that you've done on those tiles, and it will show you the report. So it's really cool for a quick way to access the reports of when you first took those tiles and stuff like that, if you want to do analysis and things. So it's a pretty cool feature. I really do like that. Uh, the next thing as well, um, I don't know if this is all seasons or if it's just my season, but Clairvoyance is now only uh, for one. It only costs one now um, of the ability points, which is really good. Um, so that's really useful. The other big thing in game that I've noticed that's been changed is the Red Book. We'll go have a look at that. Um, so now you can read through a bunch of the um, Red Book missions. And you'll be able to um, earn quite a few things. So you still have these things. But if you go to your tabs, you will see you can earn all these three stars. I've just done certain ones. But like if I click on one, for example, you will earn these. So if you earn three stars, there's certain tasks you have to do. Like not move a certain amount of steps and stuff like that. You can earn like speed ups and that for your RSS or your resources, whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's quite nice. Um, the other big thing I just want to talk about in War of the Ring, um, I was talking about this in the last video, um, yeah, it's fantastic, the events are crazy, so if you haven't seen an event, this is an event going on at the moment, um, basically, the Fellowship was travelling from Weathertop pretty much to Rivendell, and we've had to battle Nazgul's on the way, and as you can see, good and evil fight here a lot, um, and you've got to send attacks and defending and that, it's pretty fun. So yeah, a big shout out to that. I kind of like it. Also, you do not lose your troops at all here. Um, but you will save them all as long as your hospital is high enough. Uh, but you will need um, to, to heal those. And it will um, take gems to do so. Which we don't have a whole lot at the moment. Alright. In saying that, let's go have a look at some of the other information now. That's uh, been released um, in the more of the writing form and stuff. There's some pretty interesting, cool stuff to go look at, shall we? Rightio guys, so we're here first at the Fellowship Boost System. Now there's two parts of this. I've got both of them up there, as you can see. Um, we'll even we'll go up tonight. We'll, you want to go full screen so it's a bit more bigger than that. So we can have a look. So the Boost System, uh, basically as you can see here, the Fellowship Boost System consists of a variety of Fellowship abilities, including a series of resource bonuses and the new Fellowship constructions and features. So there's going to be like a Boost book. Now, I don't know if it's only the confinements and and uh, that can do this and such, um, but it could be quite interesting um, in what they possibly can do. So, the Fellowship um, abilities will unlock once a Fellowship reaches the corresponding level. Tacticians in the Fellowship can donate gold to activate Fellowship abilities. So, that's pretty cool. Okay, so it's going to be a team effort as well. It's going to take gold. And you can level it up, and it's going to... Um, do a bunch of things, expansion, store and stuff like that. We have been monitoring certain fellowship related features and optimizing them. After considering its suggestions, the rally system will be reintroduced in a new and more convenient form. Rally items will not be consumed when initiating rallies. So there's going to be changes to the rallies, um, which I think uh, have almost been put into effect already. Um, in addition, there will be some new fellowship features to encourage you to cooperate more frequently with your fellowship members. So stay tuned for the official introduction, which we're going to go have a look at right now, guys. So the second part of the fellowship boot system, you'll see things like the function of mysterious springs and uncanny effigies will be adjusted. So uncanny um, effigies will belong to fellowships. The fellowship leader, along with um, confinance, will be able to build a new fellowship structure, the altar. Uh, on their uncanny effigy, fellowship members can send their armies to the altar for mind sharpening training. So that wow, that's really cool. I like that. Um, so yeah, so only those. Um, so up to five altars can be built by the looks of it. 
Similarly, um, the Fellowship Leader, along with the Confinance, can construct a new Fellowship structure called the Mysterious World. On the Mysterious Springs, Fellowship members can send armies to the world for gathering. Okay, I like that. So that's a pretty cool feature there, guys. So these features will be coming in on an update on June 21st. Uh, that is going to be for like the Uncanny Effigies and stuff like that, and the Fellowship Boost and stuff like that. So yeah, um, the 21st of June, it's not too far away, we're going to see some of these new things come into effect of the Fellowship Boost system. Okay, also we have some adjustments to the Ring Abilities and Commander Upgrades. So we can see here we're going to have a Commander Upgrade Optimizations. Commanders are the core element of all battles and training them to be more powerful has always been a source of fun for all electricians. In um, order to enhance strategic development of commanders and enable you to collect more feedback and interactions with map elements with the following adjustments. So we're going to have new tavern tips and experience scrolls. A new series of daily events have been added to the tavern where you can complete different types of events to earn rewards by defeating enemies on the map. So that's a nice kind of a little update will be coming in. Uh, a new item shall be included among your spoils, the experience scroll, which you can freely allocate to different commanders to boost their experience based on their strategic needs. Now, I don't know if this is just for the new Season 7 or for all seasons, but that's quite interesting as well, guys. So yeah, we're going to be getting experience scrolls. That's quite interesting. Wow. Okay, so here there's going to be some adjustments to the effect of the ring ability Quick Witted. So the max level effect of the ability Quick Witted will be adjusted from 100 to 20%. Um, adjustment to sweep order rules. You will no longer be required to occupy adjacent land when issuing a sweep order. Okay, that's interesting. Ring ability adjustments. Uh, adjustments to the effect of the ring ability Quick March. So... The ring ability quick march will only be used for movement and will no longer be used as a marching order. Okie dokie. And it will be adjusted to march speed of plus 100%. This adjustment, the quick march, will enable its effect to be used more uh, dispatching armies rather than attacking. Okay. Uh, adjustment to the ring ability clairvoyance, which we talked about as well. It's only going to have the reduced cost of one point, which we've already seen that added into the game already, guys. Our last bit of information today, guys, for our video is going to be about this season registration and bag in and stuff like that. So, um, just a little bit of updates here. You'll receive a season cutoff notice along with the next campaign registration notice when season two or a campaign is about to end. In the interim, registration for the next campaign will officially unlock seven days. So, this is really more um, affecting the people that are finishing uh, the second season. Uh, so when registration for a next campaign is unlocked during a season, you can select a campaign. Yeah, we basically know how to register and stuff. Uh, there's going to be a little adjustments here with the Fellowship Team Creation. As in season registration has been unlocked, the Fellowship Team Creation progress has been adjusted in a new process. The leader and confinants of Season 2 or Campaign Fellowship can create a Fellowship Team while in the season registration. And basically it's just creating a team. So... Uh, this is more affecting the kind of the newer players and that because we kind of have this system in place already and the last bit of information here we have is team sharing in order to assist leaders um, in recruiting teammates with greater ease during seasons we have provided a new team sharing feature um, so this is going to be a great way to be able to recruit new players to your team guys and all of this is going to be coming on june 21st so We've got some big updates coming on June 21st, guys. So it's going to be a lot to look forward to. But we're going to wrap up the video there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's daily Lord of the Rings news. And we're going to wrap it up there. So until next time, peace out. EJ's out. And I'll catch you guys later. See yous.